Well, good morning. Um, bit of a damp, gloomy day for photography. Um, I've taken some pictures of some fungi in the past that have gone down very well. Um, backlit fungi, multiple images, focus stacking, and then some light painting. One or two people have asked how I do it. So I bought my iPhone today with a little gimbal and I'm out here in my local woodland. So if I can find some fungi, I'll attempt to record and give you some idea how I did it. So what sort of equipment do you need to take? Uh, these pictures of fruiting bodies and fungi. Well, I've got a, a sturdy tripod. I've got a, a smaller tripod on my backpack, which hopefully I'll be able to mount the, uh, the iPhone on and record what I'm doing. Um, I use a, a Nikon 810 digital SLR. I haven't got a macro lens. Can't afford one at the moment, so I'm just using a, a 24 to 70 portrait lens. It can be quite dark in the woods and I don't want to use a high ISO so I bought a little bit of uh, auxiliary lighting just a, a little LED torch with a, and a mini tripod. Right after about 20 minutes of walking um, I've come off the main track and I'm walking actually in the middle of the woodland you can have a look there and I found a few fruiting bodies there aren't many around because of course this is late November and we've had a few frosts so they've degraded a little bit right i'm all set up i've got my tripod set nice and low there's the tripod there's the camera there are the fruiting bodies and i've also set up a little bit of extra lighting because i said earlier i want the iso to be relatively low and and basically i'll bodge that i'm just resting my a uh, little mini tripod on top of another tripod and it's just illuminating that lovely moss which should look nice in the picture right I've taken ten images one two three four five six seven eight nine ten now the reason I've done ten images I focused on different points. Remember I'm taking an aperture 2.8. So I focus on different parts of the fruiting bodies and I've done a last picture just with a moss in the foreground in focus. Um, and I'm gonna stack those and create one picture. So all the fruiting bodies should be hopefully perfectly in focus. Uh, and now I'm gonna do another image um, or two or three images I'm going to use a torch to backlight the fruiting bodies and then combine everything in one and hopefully it'll look jolly nice now in terms of camera settings I'm in manual I'm taking at 200th of a second I'm at f2.8 and I'm at ISO 200 for the light painting image I'm going to alter the aperture because I want to darken that image. So, now for the light painting. So the, we're going to be doing this because we want to illuminate the underneath of these fruiting bodies, um, almost to make it look like they're glowing and it should look really, really good. I'm going to take several pictures because I'm going to focus underneath the fruiting bodies at certain points because those points that are illuminated, hopefully I want them pin sharp. That's my little torch. We can pick them up anywhere. You can use these torches or you can use the, the light on your mobile phone if you want to. So I'm just going to check the focus. I'm on manual focus. And the first shot I'm going to be taking is that little fella there. I'm using a cable release. The reason for the cable release these photos are going to be layered on top of one another and obviously I want to keep the camera in one position all the time. So let's just have a look, see what that looks like. 
I don't want the light too sharp. It's looking good. That's shot one. Just changing the focus ever so slightly. So we're going to be taking this middle little fella here. And the final one is this chap here. So focus is nice and sharp. And there we go. Now I've learned through bitter experience that this mask can look lovely in photographs and it will be nice to illuminate just some. So I'm going to take a final image, I'm going to refocus the camera to just that little clump of moss there. And again just take one last shot. Just like that. And we're done. Uh, now it's back to the office and we'll start our processing.